new data on the homeless population in Montgomery County. Officials say they are seeing a higher number right now than we experienced during the height of the pandemic. And the reason for that increase might surprise you. Two News reporter Kajaja Hawkins is digging deeper into what's driving these high rates and what you can do to help. Brooke, experts tell me inflation and the housing crisis are the top factors. And it's not just here, but a nationwide problem. People are having to stay sometimes in shelter longer and they have a housing subsidy in hand. The annual point in time count conducted by Montgomery County Job Center showed an increase from 463 people in shelters in 2021 to 531 as we head into this year. Though these people are in shelters, many of them have HUD housing, but they have no place to rent from because of the prices of units. The units do not qualify or they're just simply not available. Kathleen Shanahan, a program coordinator for Montgomery County Homeless Solutions, says they're in need of people willing to rent their units out to those in need since the loss of so many units due to the 2019 tornadoes. If they're a landlord, I would love it. If their call to action would be, I have an available unit and I would like to be able to rent that unit to help somebody exit homelessness and become stably housed back in the community. We are still reeling from the loss of thousands of affordable housing units in our community from the tornadoes in May of 2019. And operators of homeless shelters are also asking the public to take their families back in if they know they're homeless. Same visit to Paul feeling the impact of the increase, saying while people are donating to the shelter, they still need more help. So we're asking landlords and family members to help us out by trying to accommodate their family members at home for now because we will reach capacity soon. Um, and with that comes the need for blankets, personal care items, any kind of help we can receive with the community with clothing and shoes. Because uh, we have a lot of people that we have to outfit for the night and outfit and clothes as well. And coming up on 5 on 2, I'll show you how this rise in homelessness is hitting a local shelter hard, forcing them to consider closing their doors to people in need. Live in the studio, Kajaja Hawkins, 2 News, working for you.